Christian Taylor, congratulations. Your fourth world title. Does that sound a little bit bonkers when I say that? Yeah. Um, really, my goal was to be one time uh, world champion, one time Olympic champ. To go to the Olympics was a dream come true. Everything else is really, I've said, is icing on the cake. Now four times, it makes me feel old, you know, that I've been doing this for so long. But, no, I, I keep praising my coach and, and saying how phenomenal it's been to do this journey with him, to travel the world. We've lived abroad and, and um, taken on many challenges, but to be at the top again, we're so grateful. And a bit about your season as well. You haven't got to do as many 400s as maybe you usually like yeah, to. Yeah. Have you missed them a little bit? Um, absolutely not. It, it is a great challenge uh, mentally, but the lactic, it sucks. Um, but I just do it to just push myself, maybe put a little seed in my competitor's mind that when I go back to the triple jump, they all say, you're crazy, you're crazy, you're crazy. But this is the mentality I take on the runway. Um, but I enjoy watching it. And you got a season best as well, 1792, because you had a few problems, I think, in qualifying with the run up and it wasn't going all your way. Yeah, um, I was just going for the world record. You know, I thought if I'm in the final, just make it count. Um, it just wasn't that day, but I knew I was in good shape and I could get a safe mark, make it to the finals and try again. Came up short, but it was enough to win. And you did it in style as well, because you um, have some pretty swanky shoes there. Just tell us about your collaboration, Oda Bucken Jr., I think. Yeah, yeah, um, actually, Four years ago, uh, three years ago in Rio, he did a triple jump in the end zone playing the Ravens, and he's playing the Ravens tonight again. And so um, Nike was so, so nice and, and did a collaboration, and I'm a big fan of him. He's, you know, a great player, and, and yeah, you'll be seeing these same shoes on him tonight. Well, I hope he gets uh, a chance to re-watch it. If he was playing tonight, maybe he didn't get a chance to watch that gold medal, but I hope he gets to catch up and record. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, do your thing, man. Congratulations, Christian. Thank you. Will Clay, congratulations there. Triple jump, silver medal, 1774. Just sum up the entire evening for you. Um, I knew it was going to be a, like a boxing match out there. We were going to go round for round, and um, I knew I was going to have to be ready each round to respond back to Christian. Um, unfortunately, you know, I couldn't put one together that, that was going to get the gold, but, you know, I'm happy for the second. You know, I think um, it's been a great year. Um, I've had so many people supporting me this year, and... Um, kind of feel like I let him down, but, um, you know, I, I just got to keep fighting. You know, uh, now my uh, sights are set on 2020 in Tokyo and um, getting the gold medal there. Um, this is going to put an even bigger chip on my shoulder, and um, I'm going to get back to work. Um, I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family, um, my sponsors, Puma and Red Bull, my coaches, Bashir Ramsey and Jeremy Fisher, um, just everyone that supported me up until this point, and uh, we're going to keep fighting, and... You know, we gotta, we still gotta finish the mission. We're not done yet. Season must be finished for you now. What do you do now in the off season? Is it a chance to let your hair down a little bit? Uh, I'm going to Greece with my wife uh, in a few days, going to Santorini and Mykonos. So that'll be a much needed vacation. It's been a long season. Um, and yeah, I need it. I need a vacation before I get back to work for uh, the Olympics next year. Well, Greece, maybe that's where the Olympics obviously began. That could be a sign of things to come. Yes, God willing, I hope so. You heard it here first. Well done, Will. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Hughes, Fre Fre Hughes Fabrice Mango, congratulations there. Um, 1766 to get the bronze. I mean, can you sum up what it means right now? I'm really happy. I'm really happy because it was on my sixth, sixth jump that I uh, came third. So. It was really a battle of mine, so I'm really happy to, to get this medal like this. But I, it's a bit, um, how to say it, I was really, I, I was, uh, really uh, ready for this competition. I hope a better medal, but uh, it's okay. I hope that uh, next year it will be better. How do you sit there and control your mind throughout all those rounds and then produce the best jump at the end, <sighs> at the f at the first jump, I um, my coach told me that I did uh, r many mistakes, you know, on my run up. So I tried to 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 correct this one, and uh, it was better in the sixth one. So this is why I jumped uh, 1766. Uh, and tell us about how it was out there in in terms of jumping. The conditions looked pretty much perfect. Yeah. The condition was really perfect because uh, it was uh, a bit hot, so it, 
I think that in the stadium we have uh, t t 27, some, something like that. So it's, uh, the conditions are really perfect and the track is really good. So we can run fast and jump really uh, far. So uh, all, uh, all was perfect for me. Great job, gonna enjoy that bronze medal. Thank you.